Hi. Quit your cult part. I don't fucking know what part. <laughs> 17 or 18. Just another day to talk. Beautiful day for a walk. I just talked with my wife for a long time. And um, there's a foggy haziness. There's a jubilant relief. There is a sense of betrayal. <laughs> there's a sense of confusion that comes from the beautiful fact that I was part of a group that gave me structure and communication skills and all the beautiful things. And, and at the same time, there was an abuse of power and people were hurt and angry and there's an unwillingness to look at itself and there's an attachment to how people should act and shouldn't act and there's an exclusiveness that judges outsiders and there's a lot of qualities of stress and I really believe after just a little bit out that if in any way you believe yourself to be different or better than other human beings, that that is a prison. I felt it and I know it. Even if it's subtle and even if at the same time out of the other side of the mouth, your, your mouth you're saying, we're not like that. No, you are like that. Um, part of the confusion comes with connecting with people that we love and trust who have already left the group and to hear their stories and when they tell a story you go like she did that or he did that he said that to you and you go like but so part of the big issue is that two months ago when somebody would bring up some kind of conflict about what Dean did in my mind I would say well you just need to submit to it or like, he was always 100% trustworthy to me. And so what happens is you start to crack and all these people, literally 30, 40, 50 different people who I had in my mind blacklisted or judged as weak or broken or mentally ill. I'm suddenly listening to these people and hearing their stories and they're, and they're they're open and trustworthy and kind. These people are not insane or suffering or dying in agony as we were told that they would. They're smart and thoughtful and kind and open and living their lives. And they say and they tell stories about their experience and you go, holy shit. The, fir the first part, the first point is, and they say, when I left, I left alone. And I was told all these negative things, X, Y, Z. So my first thing is I say, I am so sorry that I wasn't able to be there for you. And yesterday someone said something to me, which was intense. And they said, you know, you've kind of come out of this thing, like all, you know, full steam ahead. And I'm like, well, that's what I do. And, they, and she basically was able to reflect to me, you know, you're not, she didn't use these words, but this is the message that I got. You are not completely trustworthy you were one of the main people that was sort of the police of right and wrong and judgment. And I'm like, yeah, I was. And basically I got the message from her that like, it will take a while for me to trust you. And when I, it helped a lot when I revealed to her some of my inner process and she, she recognized it as hers and we found a bridge but my tendency to like make these videos or whatever, it's people are kind of like, is this Tarek? He's was so gung ho. And I'm like, yeah. And my wife and I had a discussion today about like, I hope the community reflects, but I don't think it will. The, for the reflection would be two people who were completely sincere for 23 years. And we left because it was too stressful and too, full of judgment and pain. I hope the community can reflect, well, why is that? Reflect on the community's process. But what it has historically done is it is it castigates 
dehumanizes and uh, projects mental illness and weakness onto those who leave. Maybe, maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it's strength and, and the next part of the journey. Why can't the community say assalamu alaikum in a very peaceful and at ease kind of way to those who come and go? It is not set up that way. Why is that? It's an attachment and it's really hard to untangle it. And the gift that you get by leaving is that you get to see your humanness and everyone's humanness and just say like, God, God damn it, God. Everyone is doing their best and isn't it beautiful? What a relief. What a relief. Those are the thoughts and the processes of this stupid little human having this, having his own self-centered experience and, ex and expressing himself freely for the first time in a long time about what he thinks and feels. If it benefits you, then great. <laughs>